Corey Trepanier's Into the Arctic Video Journals. Brought to you in part by Eureka for Life Outdoors. And by Merrill. Let's get outside. I'm at Botillo Frames in Woodbridge for an exciting part of a project that uh, we've been looking forward to. Janet and I are here with a few of the paintings from the Into the Arctic collection and Botillo is working with us to develop a unique line of moldings that will fit this collection of paintings beautifully for the future exhibition. So Janet and I are going to head inside and meet with Carlos Rodriguez who's going to work with us on developing this line of frames for the paintings. You too. Great, I've been looking forward to this for a while. That is uh, putting together some framing, some unique stuff that will fit this Arctic collection. And uh, it's fabulous and appreciate you guys being part of this project. Oh, we're very proud to be a part of it. So here's one of the paintings from the Western Arctic. And one of the challenges I think with the collection will be to find a, a sort of a unified molding uh, selection that will fit the coloration of, of these paintings from across the Arctic. For example, this is quite warm. Paintings I'll be doing later this summer from the Eastern Arctic will have a lot of ice in it. I'm anticipating glaciers and, and cool tones in a lot of them. And uh, I'm hoping to come up with several profiles in different sizes that will also accommodate from the smallest paintings, the 9 by 12s up to paintings that are 8 feet wide so that maybe we can marry together a number of the moldings to go big and small and work it all together. But hey, that's you're the expert at that stuff, so I'm sure we'll, forward to it. I'm sure we're looking forward to the challenge, but I'm sure we'll find something to complement these beautiful pieces. Great, great. Well, let's, let's get to it. There's a bevel to this one here that kind of leads it back into That's a nicer bevel. Nicer bevel, yeah. And this almost looks like a traditional liner. I mean, the color may not be perfect with this one, but I like yeah. the, the shape and the scoop and the outer cap. And then on a smaller piece, we can just use this. First on a smaller piece by itself. Mm -hmm. Color might work with this piece anyway. Yep. And then we'll go and get it onto the bigger paintings. A really big piece, although you may not need a frame that big, but once you get a painting eight feet wide, let's say, that would come up to there. And then a medium piece like this, medium large, works well like that. Yeah. Small versions. And then with three shades of this, maybe. I think the shape of molding may work well. I mean, it, it has some clean, straightforward, pure lines in it. Um, nice balance to it. Something that a museum would gravitate to because they always want to try and find something that'll it, won't be tiring to the eye with the longevity. And that's something that has that, mm -hmm. that sort of type of quality. Uh, I really like the contrast of the inside liner here. It's a bit more matted yeah. compared to the outside and something clean. Too many choices. You're, you're convincing me on this one as well as an option, certainly. That color works well on here. Let's, let's just see if somebody wanted to warm yeah. it up. Just change it back. I'm not sure if that liner works as well. Well, just that, looks, that looks very nice. That's better. That's better. Yeah, that kind of works nicer together. Yeah. So maybe we have two directions to work on. 